Tell us what happened out there. Um, you know, I'm, I got out aggressive for 100 meters and um, I went to the front. No one wanted to take over. Pat, I was on the outside, Chris and Matt Wampo on the inside, Pat Casey from Oklahoma. He's right there, so I just I took the lead and started pressing a little bit more, just getting myself ready, uh, building up for a, a fast 400 new, coming out of that, and was in the right position I wanted to be. Um, so 400 to go. Uh, I think Crease was up there, I saw him move, he came on the outside, and I didn't want to get boxed on the inside. I checked my right with 400 to go, make sure no one's there, I go to the outside. 300 to go. I'm getting close to my, uh, you know, final gear. You know, we're moving on 200. Just trying to stay relaxed. I'm sitting on the outside of crease. It's 150 to go. I know guys have come. I was just trying to stay relaxed. Fleet comes past me. He's moving. And then, with 115, 110 meters to go, I mean, I'm I'm pretty open like this. My arms. Somebody's arm. I don't know. I, I didn't see anybody. It was, it was definitely somebody from behind me. They hooked my arm, and they were coming through too, and I just, I mean, when you're running that fast, it's really easy to lose balance. I fell down. I mean, I didn't want to fall down. It's 100 meters to go. I'm right there, top three in the NCAA final. I feel great. I, you know, skinned up. I was, I was, I was, all of a sudden, I was just on the ground. It was, very, it was like my legs got taken out from under me, and I don't know what happened behind me. I'm sure guys also, because I was in the front, had to deal with me falling down like that. And I finished the race. I mean, I was very upset. It's not how I wanted to end my college career at all. I mean, I was having the race of my life until 100 to go. What big of a blow is this for uh, Texas championship hopes? You were the only, or top five hopes? You were the only race of the day. I mean, you know, my coach has told me to get out there and just have fun. I don't. I mean, I had nothing to lose going this race. I wasn't picked to do that well. So I was gonna, I was gonna get the front, mix it up, and get and do the best I could. And, you know, I, I think people look at that race. I mean, I, I, I tend to be more of an aggressive runner, but at 110 meters to go, I'm not thinking about moving and pushing people around. I'm trying to get to the finish line. So there's no thought. There's no like, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't think I did anything wrong. And it's just, it's just accidental. I think because you look at maybe precedent of maybe what I did yesterday, trying to move my way through the front, then obviously McGregor must have pushed down somebody or he, he was so aggressive that he knocked himself down. And that's why he fell down. I don't think that has anything to do with it. And if you go back and watch the race for what the race was, I, I don't think that that'll, that's what will show. So, I mean, I did the best I could. And at that point, I don't think there's a lot of thinking going on. You're just reacting and, and you're trying to get to the finish line. And, that's it. Is there any, any little animosity between the guys after, after the race is over? And Not between me, myself, or anybody else. I mean, there, there was animosity towards me. I mean, I can't control that. I mean, I'd like to think that some of a lot of these guys are my friends, and I would never try and sabotage their race like that. And I don't think that I did anything that was, can be considered reckless. It's 110 meters to go. I was doing it everywhere else. There. I was spreading. The reason why I probably fell down it's because you have 12 guys who all have great kicks who are sprinting and right next to each other 110 meters to go. Things can happen. I, I don't think I did anything. So, I mean, if there's animosity, I mean, I'm really sorry. I mean, I think a gut reaction as soon as you finish, that's what's going to happen. And I, I try not to react. I try not to just try to go about it. But I, I, all I can think is how close I was to doing, having a great race and scoring for both of my team. That's all I really wanted. Senior year, you, get to the, you do get the NCAA final. You, you get there healthy, you get there fit. Is there any solace from this weekend? Or are you taking any, way, any positives away from this weekend? I think this was an opportunity to be with my team and to try and be a podium team at the NCAA championships. I watched this race four years, three years ago with Andrew Weeding and Madison Schwitz and AJ. They were one, two, three, and I was in the stands. I was actually where you guys are. I was interviewing runners for runner space. And that's all. I mean, this has been one of my dreams to be in Eugene with an opportunity to do well at the NCAA Championships and the NCAA Final. I've been watching it, the NCAA Championships since I was in fifth grade. I mean, it sucks, <laughs> to say the least. I mean, it did not feel well. But I'm, I'm, I think I'm really just happy to be here with my team. And, um, you know, it's been really fun cheering people on the last few days, watching Ryan Cross win the shot, get by this one the deck. And it's been very exciting. So. USA's for you? Uh, I think, you know, I, I, uh, I haven't technically finished 
um, school yet. So I, I think I'm gonna take some time to, to focus on that and uh, maybe just call the season. Like I, I'm, this is my goal, and I don't know how I can get re-motivated for something that isn't for my team. It's really for myself. So I have to I have to talk to my coach about that first. But I, and I really need to focus on finishing up school the right way.